My name is Welton King, and in this video, we're talking about sound design tips for a game developer. Working on Under Pressure this week, I noticed that there's kind of like this continuum of how or of your philosophy in music in video games. And I gotta say, I really, I really fall into the middle. On one end, you have play music all the time. And on the other end, you have don't play music at all. And you really gotta find this balance between the two. Because although music is awesome and music is powerful, so is the absence of music. I think one of the modern day games that does this the absolute best is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. As for Under Pressure, the ambiance is a tad bit weak, but I'm working on it, so moving on. While working on Under Pressure this week, I noticed this weird phenomenon with sound. The sound does not always need to be produced at the moment of the action. Sometimes the sound actually needs to be produced slightly before or slightly after that action. One of the best things I can remember is when I was working on the hit marker. The hit marker sound shouldn't be incurred the moment the hit marker appears on the screen. There's like a 0.2 or like 0.15 second delay from when the hit marker is produced on the screen to when you hear the hit marker sound. Be cognizant during development of when your sound should play and when the action on the screen should be seen. <laughs> they go hand in hand, and let me tell you, it's freaking wild. I've literally looked through thousands, thousands of sound effects for Under Pressure, and sometimes I really just couldn't find the sound effect I was looking for. What saved my life was producing those sound effects myself, with my mic and then going in and editing them in audacity. Literally the jetpack and under pressure is just me blowing air at my mic with some reverb, a touch on the equalizers all in audacity. And I think it sounds okay. Like it's viable and I actually really like it. My point is if you cannot find a sound for your game, grab a mic and produce it yourself it's all right. It's a completely viable solution. At least I think so. <laughs> That's all I have for you all today. If you like this video, smash that like button. If you want to see more, then destroy that subscribe button. And if you have any thoughts, you better share them in the comment section below. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you on the flippity flop. Damn it! Now I have to find your teleporter.